conservative new media viewers what's going on it's me John D. Villarreal I've got a science story here and this in my personal opinion is very exciting first of all my personal opinion only and a lot of like Jane facts not casting any aspersions all for entertainment purpose only please check disclaimers so check this out here's the deal apparently some European researchers have found this planet this planet is HD 40307G, and it's a quote-unquote super Earth, okay? And the reason why that is being termed in that way is that uh, for a couple reasons. One is it, it lies in this solar system at a range of orbit around uh, its star in that solar system where it just might be possible to have liquid water on the planet like on the planet Earth, right? I mean, we have a lot of water here on the Earth, and there's no, no, no doubt that that obviously is an element that helps uh, sustain life on this planet. Therefore, it may be on this planet, HD 40307G, it may likewise have liquid water water and as previously discussed this may support uh, but the potential for life on that planet. The other reason it's called a quote-unquote super earth is that it's actually seven times uh, bigger in terms of mass than the earth so it's very very big. Now it's not the same distance from uh, its its uh, sun, if you will, star, uh, as our Earth is, because uh, the sun in that solar system is not as hot as our sun, therefore it needs to be closer in order to be in that uh, quote-unquote habitable zone where life possibly could, uh, it's that sort of, um, that golden area, that the Goldilocks area, if you will, of uh, potential habitable uh, zone, if you will, that creates a more ideal environment for potential for life. So it's actually 55.8 million miles away from its sun, whereas our Earth is about 93 million miles away from our sun. So that's sort of an interesting uh, difference right there. And uh, in our solar system, you've got Earth and Mars at, in that habit habitable zone, whereas in that solar system, you really only have that planet in that in the uh, quote unquote habitable zone so that's very very interesting right there so now there's a lot about this this uh, uh, super earth if you will that we don't know we don't know yet I believe if I, if I read the articles right if if it has uh, mountainous uh, land masses or not there's there's some different things that, that we don't know but based upon how far away from us it is 42 uh, light years away it may be in the future that we actually could possibly observe it if we if we have the right sort of uh, telescopes and observational equipment. I remember the video that I did on the potential uh, advances in warp drive uh, possible theories, right? On how you know we may be able to theoretically uh, build a ship with smaller mass, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And how they theorize that if this could possibly work, it may actually transport the ship at 10 times the speed of light. If you have that kind of situation that comes online down the road, could it be possible that we could actually visit uh, this kind of plane out there? I mean, that would make a trip for, at that kind of speed, that would make a trip of what it would it be, 4.2 uh, years. There's so much to discuss about this, in my personal opinion. I mean, it's exciting to think that there could be a quote-unquote super Earth that could have life that is in, you know, galactic if not universal terms you know meaning the cosmos universe if you will relatively close i mean think about this our galaxy the milky way you're talking about a a size of, of around a hundred thousand light years across and here you know you've got a possible quote-unquote super earth that's only 42 light years away from us. So what kind of possibilities does this open up? Do you think there's life on that planet? And if so, what kind of life? And would you want, you know, uh, the Earth to send something out there to explore, to check it out, if that's possible? Obviously, it's not possible now. But at some point, 
it may be. In addition, do you want to to uh, you know have the Earth build the technology to try to observe it? We may be able to ascertain a lot more about what's on that planet. So we need to talk about that in my personal opinion. So think about that. Think about a quote unquote super Earth that's 42 light years away from Earth. Would you want to go there? Do you think again, I gotta ask you, do you think that there's life over there? I mean, this planet, they think, might have liquid water. If there was a way to go there, would you want to go there? For me personally, look, I want to, I, I'm, I'm all for the Earth, maybe the US, maybe a, a, a coalition of countries, whatever, building the technology, the observational and analytical technology to be able to observe this planet and other planets. I think we need to keep investing in space, uh, observation, exploration, research. This is a whole universe out there. We need to see what is up. It, look, in my personal opinion, there are billions and billions of plants out there. And I do think that there's life out there. I don't know what kind of life, I don't know where it is, whatever. But I think there's too much evidence and there's too much space out there for there not to be life. That's my personal opinion. We'll find out. And I think that, you know, it's incumbent upon us to advance the science and the research and see what's up. We're finding more and more of these exoplanets. We're finding more and more planets out there that could sustain life. We're still learning stuff about Mars. How there was, you know, I believe if I, if I read it right, I got to look at the latest stuff on it. You know, they, they believe that there was running water or something like that in my personal opinion. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Whatever. The point is, is that we're finding out more and more about the universe that we live in and it's exciting and I want to know what you think about it. Do you think there's life over there in that, on this planet? Number one. Number two, do you, would you want to go over there? Number three, do you think we should explore it? Number four, do you think we should build the scientific and analytical technology to observe it? What else do you think is out there? Do you think there's life, alien life, on that planet? And if there is, what kind of life do you think it is? And what else might we observe and find out there in this big universe of ours? You tell me where you're at on this. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You're watching conservative new media. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.